Hello Aquarians and Crosswatchers, welcome to your video. So I'm doing a requested video. I've had a few of these video requests and it is um, why are they letting the kids come between you? Now it could be little kids, grown kids, whatever, kids. It could be one kid, it could be a child. <laughs> but I've gotten a few of these so I don't know if it has anything to do with like step parents or girlfriend boyfriends after uh, someone have been through a divorce or if it's literally kids you guys have between you I don't know but I've gotten a few of these about um, you know why do they choose the kids over me or something like that so it could even it you know there's something there there's enough of those requests that I'm going to do this reading so anyway uh, before I get into this I want you to know that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world and I want to thank you all for being here sharing your time and your energy with me um, I've done my prayers okay and I'm ready to get into this I'm going to use the Osho Zen um, as my Oracle spread though it is a literal tarot deck but I like it's spiritual and it may give some insight to what's going on so let's see why do they let the children come between you guys why do they let the children come between I uh, probably um, I also have gotten requests for the opposite so I might do that soon I've also gotten requests of you know why do they let um, the in-laws come between us um, family members so I'm, I'm gonna do a similar reading something like that um, it's how they view things okay so we're gonna get into that we this is um, they have a specific view uh, a mindset of view the way they view things with the hangman that is uh, major arcana tarot and it's for Pisces and there's they have a they have a certain way that they view this and it's been that way for a long time and they're not budging until they change a mindset or change how they view it anything else I thought something t turned over here it's like okay anything else okay all right so I'm gonna make this reading as quick as possible cuz I kinda already got the gist of it um, so maybe we'll get more details the thing is a person has a, a particular uh, viewpoint alright and it's been this way and they're not budging until they change their viewpoint but when I see these cards that come out after it it has something to do with the order of things tradition alright this being the hierophant tradition following tradition it's just always been this way um, and the and the pieces of a puzzle you can't put any piece anywhere in a puzzle a puzzle piece goes in a specific order or fashion so this has to do with the way someone just sees things it is their perception okay and it's it's always been this way or at least for a very long time it's traditional they feel that it's um, that it's supposed to be this way now on the other end of the spectrum I see fighting in reverse and ripeness in reverse so now it's like saying now is not the time um, because it, it, it probably makes somebody very angry um, especially if you're a girlfriend a boyfriend a step parent or if you these are literally your children and they just always take the side of the other parent I, I can feel and see and sense someone's frustration in this but for some reason it's, ha it's saying now you know or or maybe someone views it as it's not been the right time to bring it up maybe somebody uh, maybe you feel like it's not the right time to bring it up um, but we'll we'll get into the tarot we'll see what wants to come out here okay why do they um, why do they why do the children get involved and uh, why do they allow the children to come between you so why do they allow the children co to come between you why do they allow the children to come between you show me the past show me the past energy for why they allow the children to come between you past energy sideways pentacles so they're conflicted about uh, where to focus and their priorities this is sideways this is 
Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is what you're focusing on, okay? And I feel somebody doesn't quite know exactly uh, how to put their focus, okay? To you, to them, sort of someone like on the fence even. Tell me more about their past. You know, this is somebody who's always trying to possibly, a um, couple of things, someone who is trying to be some sort of a people pleaser when it comes to the kids, but also trying to make maybe something right or make them happy because maybe they regret something. We have the Five of Cups, but it came out in the reverse. This is for the past. So if this came out in the reverse, that means at some point it was in the upright. So for some, maybe they feel guilty for not being there, feel guilty for something of the past, okay? Even if they feel guilty because, you know, the relationship with the other parent didn't work out, or like I said, just not being there. Typical things that parents get guilty about, right? I'm, I'm a parent. We all have things as a parent we get guilty about, but that's life, right? We all go through it. But this is what it's saying right now. It's a, it's a perspective that they have. Um, they just feel that it's supposed to be this way and they might have, um, they might have some guilt. Um, they might have some regret about how something happened in the past. Okay. Give me another card and then I'll clarify. Now I'm going to go on here as to say I am a parent and I'm not going to put my opinion in. I am impartial. I am impartial. I am not going to put my two cents into this. I'm just going to read cards. So the recent past is, you know, maybe this is coming and getting too much to where someone's thinking about going forward and going in a new direction. So for somebody, this might be um, pretty hard to deal with. All right. Pretty hard for someone to deal with here. So let's get into it. Why do we have the Eight of Pentacles sideways? Why do we have the Eight of Pentacles sideways? There's, that's the blockage. Somebody doesn't. You know, someone's unsure. Well, it's like if it's you and them, they know to focus on you. If it's them with the kids, they, they focus on that. But when it's all of you together, it might be that where they don't know to, where, to, where to put their focus at. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles sideways. Yeah. This is, in the, in the past, recent past, they've spent a lot of time thinking about this, all right? A lot of time thinking about um, where to shift their focus. Because, like I said, they have a specific viewpoint. Their point of view is different. And their point of view is it's traditional to do things the way they're doing. And a lot of people will agree with that. A lot of people right here watching this will agree with that. My kids come before anybody. I, a lot of people agree with that. But there are some people who feel that, you know, um, the spouse comes first. This is, this is, this may be something that triggers people. That's why I say I'm going to be impartial. I'm not putting my two cents in on this one. I'm just reading cards and I have gotten several requests about this. So someone has been putting in a lot of thought here. If they're doing the right thing or how should they, um, where they should put their focus, where they should put their attention at. So tell me about the five of cups reverse. And it, maybe it's somebody who, you know, wasn't chosen over the kids. Okay. And that, that even might be a person trying to decide, should I work on this or should I just go away? It can go both ways. There could be someone who's tired of being put second. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. This came out this way and then flipped. So I feel somebody's really, um, you know, wanting to do things different, wanting a new beginning, wanting to try something new. Um, maybe even it depends on who's dealing with what. Maybe there's some kids that are going to be going off to school or, or going off, moving out or something like this, and things are going to get better. But it's like um, there could be somebody who's literally thinking about just going on a new journey um, and letting the person just be. 
Tell me about that Eight of Cups. And that Eight of Cups would say that somebody's thinking about doing what makes them happy. And it, it could be anybody here. It could be, this is the recent past, okay, about why they let the kids get involved. They're, they're thinking or you're thinking. Someone is thinking about changing their point of view. And they're putting a lot of thought into it. Virgo energy with the Hermit. Aquarius energy with the full someone is really thinking about where to go. Maybe both of you are maybe both of you are trying to decide What is happiest and best for you? Okay, if you're not focusing on each other the way you feel that it should happen. So Someone is definitely thinking about moving on and it will create a tower All right It will create a tower um, But someone could also be moving on to avoid a tower, okay? That would mean somebody expects it to get worse if they possibly stay. So if anybody relates to that, it's definitely the recent past energy. Someone's trying to decide, should I stay? Should I move on? Should I change my heart? Should I change my mind about my viewpoint? That's the recent past. Let's look at the current energies for why they let the kids come between you. Let's look at the current energies. We have the world in reverse. It's current energies is, you know, should this, should I end this? Or should we try to start new, fresh? Is it going to change? So someone is still in the current energy of, should I end this? Is it going to stay the same? Can I expect improvement in the future or is it going to get worse? And I have Aquarius in the reverse and I have the Ten of Pentacles and I have King of Pentacles here in the upright. So it's literally, I do have... Aquarius and Virgo I have here Aquarius and earth sign so it may have to do something between that um, someone choosing family or kids it looks like kids you know this was the this was the um, and I have a, a child here this was the request the request was why do they why do they let the kids come between us so I will do a reading for the opposite. I have got the opposite too when in-laws and parents get involved. So let's clarify this current energy. I think somebody, obviously the, the person who is in the middle wants everyone to be able to work like teamwork. Um, but it just seems like it's not, it's not happening at the moment. Tell me about the world in reverse. That's Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus energy. It's fixed. It's in the reverse. It's about endings and beginnings. Current energy is thinking about, should I end it? But I can see not wanting to end it either. Yeah, trying to gain clarity about this Eight of Pentacles. So this is, someone is still in the current energy, trying to get clear, trying to get focused. You know, should I end this and focus on that? Should I focus on the kids should I focus on this love or someone's thinking should I focus on this person who's not focusing on me they're focusing on the kids or should I focus on a new beginning someone is definitely trying to make that decision here someone's trying to follow their intuition and someone's hoping that someone's going to change their mind someone does love look someone loves this person all right they love the person but they feel like their second best and then the person who is in between all this is trying to get everyone work together. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Change. Landed on the world. So with this Three of Swords, basically, if something doesn't change, and it has to do with someone's feeling a lot of pain, so maybe there's a lot of arguments too. I don't know. There could be a lot of arguments and fights over this, though I don't see... I don't see like a five of swords or anything like that, but it's painful to somebody. And if it doesn't change, someone's going to create change by going off, just fresh new start somewhere. Not wanting to though. Tell me about the three of wands. Someone's hoping for change in the future. Transformation, death, Scorpio energy. Tell me about this. Three of wands is the future. I'm expecting change. Now we have Leo energy. 
but someone is ex is expecting forward movement all right forward movement um i guess depending on whether that forward movement happens with the king of wands has a lot to do with what someone chooses to do tell me about the two of pentacles We have four of swords and the reverse. Now, four of swords in the upright is doing nothing. Four of swords in the upright can be healing as well. But four of swords in the reverse. There is decision that leads to movement. And this is a person who's pregnant, but it's reversed. So it's like the children might not be accepting of the other parent whether step parent or girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever the other person tell me about the star card it's in the reverse aquarius energy but it's about um hopes wishes and we had here queen of cups reverse and Knight of Swords Reverse. We have Water Energy, Air Energy. We have Gemini. We have Pisces. Somebody is just rejecting the other person. Re Aquarius could be rejected or Aquarius could be the one rejecting someone and putting kids first. Either way, the future, the current energies and the past, the recent past energies, it's showing there's a lot of thought going into to thinking Am I going to move forward with this? Am I going to move forward with this? Or be single? And someone is really thinking about being single. Just, it's really bothering someone here. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It's an energy of long-term stability. Someone to be with for a long time. Okay. So this is a person who wants to heal this. This might be the person who's wanting, you know, everything to work out in the long run. That wants, you know, everyone to work together here. Um, this is the person I feel in the middle. Wanting to heal all this because they love everybody. This also might be a person who might do things to numb themselves because you know it's it's stressful maybe being in the middle so i don't know if somebody you know uses something to take the edge off tell me about the ten of pentacles that's the home life they really this is the thing. I don't know who's bothered by the kids, but the person in the middle loves the kids, loves the person that they're with. They really want everyone to get along and they really want it to work out. They, Like I said, they might do, be doing some things to cope with it, okay, because it's stressful and, and it's like all hitting them. They're the middle person. So if anyone needed to know that, you know, they do, they love the kids and they love their person but their person and the kids they're not accepting of each other they have some sort of guilt and that's why they allow the kids to interfere they also believe that um, their their tradition the way they were raised is they believe that the kids are first but like I said I'm not gonna put my two cents in because there are some people who believe it's the spouse, you know, and there's some people who believe it's the kids. So this is this is one of those things where tradition and a point of view are very deep within someone here. And another person is looking at themselves as not being valued, but that they are second best. It's really just, it's kind of sad because the person in the middle does love, love and want all this to work out. They want it to grow old. Tell me about the near future. Is this going to get better for, you know, this person who's between the kids and the 
and the person they love? Is this going to get better? There needs to be a talk here in the future. Okay. So, I'm going to clarify. But what I see is the person in the middle is going to have a talk. All right. Going to express themselves. Okay. The moon is uh, Cancer Pisces energy. It's in reverse. Bringing something to light about the Empress reverse. Which means... And the seven of wands so for that person who feels like they choose the kids over them it looks like they're going to go to bat for you and be like look this may not be your parent your mom or whatever but it's my person and i love this person or maybe you don't agree with your parent because like i said maybe it's maybe it's your kids together and they take the other parent's side they're going to be they're going to stand up for I, I don't know to say you, maybe it's you, but they're going to stand up for the person they love and they're going to have a talk probably uh, with the kids. Okay, let's clarify. But it could go the other way around. You know, they could also say, well, you're not the mother of my kids. You can't defend or something. So, you know, it can go that way. Let's see what the clarifying cards say. All right, so I have now Aquarius in the upright or the wish fulfilled in the upright, the hope in the upright where it was reversed here. Tell me about the Empress reverse. I'm going to get cards out before I say what I'm going to say. Okay. Okay. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Alright. So, the person in the middle is going to stand up and speak their piece to everybody. Okay. Um, and give me a card for this star card. All right, so the person in the middle is going to speak up and try to restore the peace, all right? They're going to take the high road, and they're going to speak their peace to try to get everyone to get along. Basically, it looks like they're going to say to the kids, look, you may not agree with this person, you may not like this person, you may not want me to be with this person. But you need to respect this person. Queen of Swords in the Upright. You need to come correct to that person. You cannot just treat them any kind of way. Okay? That's for one thing. So you, you need to move correctly when you come toward my person. Because I love them. So I see them as putting up boundaries. Alright? And that is Seven of Wands. I feel them defending and putting up boundaries so that... Um, the kids can't disrespect and so definitely is going to be a talk and then if this has been going on for a while I feel they're going to say look this has been going on for far too long with the Knight of Pentacles Virgo energy this has been going on for far too long I don't want us to be a toxic family all right because at the end of the day we are family we are together. We are in this world together. We're in this house together. Or we're spending holidays together. We're in this together. And the devil, it doesn't, you know, that's just toxic. So with this reverse, they're saying this has gone on for far too long and I don't want to be a toxic family. We need some boundaries. This needs to change and we're going to change it. You need to have respect for my person. All right, so they are going to come to bat. They are going to defend the person that they love and put the child or children, kids, whatever, in perspective, okay? Not being mean, but just, look, getting basically the household on board, taking leadership 
So it's good. It's a good outcome um, if you choose to stick around for it. But it does seem like it will happen in the near future because this person is also going through a lot just dealing, being the middle person. Let's close out with a bonus card. Tried not to make it too long because... It really doesn't need to be long. I kind of saw, you know, the reason why in the beginning. But it is headed to a better place. So, if this is your reading and it's resonating, it's headed to a better place. Um, it seems like here in the near future. If it doesn't happen by the end of the year, I would say then, I, you know, maybe it's not. You're reading. All right, we have Black Jaguar and its old soul. I wanted to say old school. So there's something about tradition with this person that, you know, their beliefs. They are going to change. They're going to try to make it all work, though. And it says, walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want, and you can create your dreams. So no matter what situation you're in if you're the one who's going to have the talk with the kids or if you're the one who's going to benefit from the talk with the kids just remember you can create the life you want and whoever this person is they want a happy home life and they don't want a toxic home life and here we have hummingbird and its miracles and this is what I would expect I would expect miracles this is where everyone's talking politely together and communicating and this is like a child, and then we have like uh, two people here together. So um, these two look kind of related, and maybe this one looks like the one that's being treated as the outcast. And it says, you are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. And I would say be happy and expect happiness. Don't expect to be um, the outcast. Because whoever is going through this, somebody is going to have a talk with the kids and say, you know, you need to have some boundaries and respect because I love them. And this person is going to say, this has gone on far too long and I don't want to have a to toxic family. I don't want that. For me. That's not my vision. Anyway, I hope this reading resonated. If it did, if it resonates with someone you know, please share the video. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in and namaste my friends.